You know, if they're not smart enough to take this opportunity to come gather intelligence, that's on them. Yep. Hi! Hi. How you doing today, ma'am? I got away from right A little cold, time. but good. Nice. Step Stop over here, takes... we got these heaters, if you'd like to get warm. Uh, I thought they were lanterns, but yeah, they feel good. We're with the uh, Los Santos chapter of Food Not Bombs. We're out here distributing food and uh, warm drinks to those in need today. Oh. If you're, uh, you know, in need of something to eat, just want to get warm for a little bit, feel free. Oh, okay, thanks. We're here to help. Have some uh, reading material as well that you can take with you when you're ready to go. Those sirens. Yeah. Interesting. But yeah, we have some uh, some reading material that you can take with you as well. Okay. Just uh, out here advocating for a uh, a more free and more fair Los Santos. Oh. How you doing today, sir? Doing good. What, what's going on with this? Oh, we're a uh, food distribution network here in Los Santos. We're out here giving to the homeless and needy. Anyone facing food insecurity during these trying times. Very cool. And we've also got uh, some literature, some material that you can take with you if you want. It's not uh, required, but if you would like it, you're more than welcome to it. Well, thank you. Did you, uh, you came from up the street, right? Yeah, yeah, I was just out for a walk. I got you. Did you have to hear what all those here. sirens were about? I didn't. I was wondering the same thing. That must have been a block over or something. It was kind of strange. Yeah, it sounded close. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there's probably a lot of accidents on the road today, you know, with the weather and all. People don't really know how to drive in this. Oh, That's I true. can only imagine. Oh, I, I seen a blue, blue car kind of going crazy. I don't know what he was doing. A little lost in the sauce. I could see it. Yeah, FNB uh, runs these monthly uh, food distribution networks here in the city. So, you know, if you ever get the opportunity to donate or if you're ever in need of assistance, please feel free to find us. We post online and you can check the website. That's uh, FNB underscore LS. Oh, I, I don't have any phone or anything. I just stumbled upon you guys. For sure, we have posters out and around town, so uh, we'll keep you updated with the dates when we see you. Okay. Do you guys know any warm place to stay at night? Well, the shelters are probably full, if I had to guess, given the weather. Uh, yeah. Some of these apartment buildings have lobbies and whatnot that people don't watch too close. Yeah, okay. most definitely. There's a couple of construction sites deeper into town, too, that uh, are partially completed. Yeah, but it'll sure. get you out of the wind. Yeah. yeah, and I know down on the south side, there's quite a few abandoned factory buildings. Yeah, gotta get you out of the wind. Yeah, that's, that's the main thing. Yeah, I guess if, if nothing else, worse comes to worse, get up onto the highway bridges where the, where the concrete meets the road. And that'll cut out a lot of wind, too. Yeah, okay. the ground temperature won't be so bad, either. Yeah. Don't but, put your hands on your rifle at all. Uh, Look yeah, across I, the street. I see him, I see him. But... Shouldn't nobody be getting kicked out in the cold, though. No, it's ridiculous. I mean, there are... Ten Ought empty be... homes for every homeless person in this country. That's right. There's no reason we couldn't house everybody with room to spare. Well, if but only then all the cared. then all the rich uh, property developers couldn't make money off the houses if they had to actually house people in them. Wouldn't that be such a now shame? You're getting it. Yeah. Did you give him a pamphlet? I did. Yeah. Excellent. 
I've noticed one thing with the locals walking by. I guess if you're a little on the bigger side, you don't get quite as cold as we do. Yeah, I suppose that's a form of natural insulation. Yeah, but it's easier to run away from them if they don't like you. True. Rather underdressed, don't they? <laughs> well, like we said, people who live in uh, LS just don't know how to deal with the cold. Yeah, I mean, you would think staying inside would be step one, though. You would think. I would have thought. But, I guess they feel like they got things they gotta do. Well, now you know better. That involves common sense. <laughs> Fair point. Are, uh, I got a dumb question. Are you sure. guys being scoped out? Because I see another cop across the street there. Oh, it's possible. Yeah, certain... Enforcement ah. organizations may not uh, be sympathetic to the cause of feeding the homeless and making sure the unhoused stay protected. But as long as we're <laughs> taxpayer money goes to buy the police new cars every month, we know what's important. Mm -hmm. How you doing today, sir? I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm just hungry. Oh, well, you came to the right place. We're with the Food Not Bombs Los Santos local chapter. We're out here distributing food and warm drinks to the uh, unhoused and the those suffering from food insecurity. So go ahead and help yourself if you'd like. Oh, I well, thank you. Uh, very generous of you. Uh, it's not generosity, sir. It's solidarity. Sir, is your name Chris by a chance? Maybe. Why? Uh, in in feeling the holiday spirit, I'm the guy from the gas station that we had some interactions with. I think what I'm gonna do for the holiday is we're gonna let bygones be bygones, and if you stop by and you promise not to steal out of my store, I'll give you some food and whatever. Whatever, I'll give you a basket of food and whatever next time you stop by. How's that sound? Well, uh, that that sounds great. Are you sure? Yeah. Awesome. So that's what you told me that, yeah, as long as you're not going to go be stupid about it. No, no, I, I wouldn't be stupid about anything. <laughs> I think we can let previous encounters be in the past. Yeah, that's great. Live and let live, right? I thought about it because I had an experience with a couple people and, well, yeah, I was there. You guys heard about that gas station that, well, when the that lady got killed at that gas station fighting with that guy? Oh, the big explosion, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, yeah I'm the guy that works at that gas station. That was, that made kind of oh, open my so eyes just, to things. Oh, you don't, like, own the gas station. Oh, no, I just, I'm the manager. Oh, okay. Oh, all okay, right. All, right. all right. Yeah. <laughs> we got a little nervous there for a second, Chief. Yeah. No, I was going to say, that experience opened my eyes to where life is short. Gotta let things go sometimes. That's true. I was literally about to be like, he's a business owner, get him! <laughs> I, I was trying to figure out how to say it. <laughs> well, yeah, like I said, we'll be out here for most of the day. Distributing. Like I said, we've got literature, they're in the bags there. Hope to see you guys around in the future as well. Definitely. I'm gonna go eat this. You, uh... Thanks a lot. Mm, yeah, right. take care, I'll buddy. Probably take you up on your offer there, sir. Oh, of course. I'll see you around. You be safe. <laughs> take care, <laughs> Watch out for what <laughs> the... Oh, Jeebus. Oh, huh. oh, my. Well, yeah, I'm pretty God, sure that's a destruction of property. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep going next do, do, do we make a citizen's arrest or something? <laughs> oh, I don't think that hold up. <laughs> uh, you think? <laughs> you can't do that. This is our city. How are we doing today, fellas? Can we help you with something? I just driving by and uh, interested to see what was going on. Just a little charity in these cold times. Yeah. Seems a little unusual to have charity backed up with uh, a carbine on them. Okay, okay. I'm oh, well, the city is uh, filled with maniacs, you know. Yep. Thugs running around in knee-high boots and wearing reflective vests. 
Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't hear you over my radio there. Just a precaution. Yeah. Sometimes people don't take too kindly to charity. Do you mind uh, coming over here and having a word with me, please? I absolutely do. Okay, well... At this point, I am going to detain you for investigation. Please come no, speak not. with me. We're on private property, which we have right to be, to be on. To be we here. are an open carry state. I have committed no crime. You have no crime to investigate. Is uh, the Los Santos Police Department now making it illegal to uh, distribute food to the unhoused? I'm not interested in the distribution of food. I'm not moving from this spot. I have committed no crime. You have no right to be here. We are on private property, conducting lawful business. We have permission to be on the property. This is an open carry state. That's Protected nice. both under the Constitution and the fact that this is an open carry state, which specifically states that rifles and handguns may be openly carried and loaded so long as they are not pointed at anybody, and I do not state or act in a menacing fashion, which I am obviously not, as my hands are in the air. I can see that. I still have cause to speak with you. No, you so don't. Like you this is not a here. consensual stop. I do not consent to be spoken to. You have no cause to speak to me. Please do not interact with me any further. Yeah, who can play with phones, Chief. That's fine. You have every right to record me. At the present time, the state of San Andreas is under an elevated terror threat level. Under those circumstances, I have probable cause to identify someone who is masking their appearance and carrying You absolutely a do not. Your terror level has nothing to do with the legal enforcement of the law. That is complete bullshit. I understand that that's how you feel. No, that is the law. Your terror level has nothing to do with the Constitution or the enforcement of law. It is simply a readiness standard. Yeah, well, you also match the description of people we are looking for under that terrorist threat level. I absolutely do not, as you cannot see me. The articles of clothing you were wearing match exactly what we are looking for. Oh, so anybody wearing black with black is now a suspect, huh? You may interpret it that way. I'm not speaking to you. I will not speak to you. You are completely wrong. Any, any arrest you make will be dropped by the court. You are 100% wrong. You should step away if you like being employed. If you would like to consider maybe not upholding a system that lets you act like such a jackbooted fucking thug, I would love to talk to you about that. In the meantime, you will either need to come over here and exercise your unright to remove me or disengage with me because I have no desire to speak to you. It seems like... Uh... You're taking this at a, at a level it was never brought to you at. I have no right to speak to you. I have no desire to speak to you. And I have I cannot be forced to speak to you. I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't want to talk to you. It is that simple. It's pretty crazy that you come out here with a whole fucking squad and three patrol cars for a simple food distribution event. I was just going down here, sir. I already made it clear to you that your food distribution has nothing to do with my presence here. I find that highly unlikely. Please keep an eye on him for a second. Yes, sir. Just giving out food today, everyone. We're I'm not, not here to do anything you. to you. I, I, I'm being nice. What did I do to you? Not I was just asking you a you. question. This I was is asking private you a property, question. we have a right to be here. I didn't say you didn't! When did I ever say that? I was just asking if you were just giving <laughs> out food to people. This is private property, we have a right to when be here. When is that here. ever an incriminating question? I, I guess I won't we, be a nice person, we don't, that's we okay. Don't be here either. It's the guy, the sheriff deputy, is the one who pulled us out here, okay? We want to be here as much as you want us gone, so... Or, yeah. Well, then I encourage you to leave. I, I'm not- I can't leave until he leaves him. 
Sorry, but that's how it's gonna go. I'm not doing anything to you. You're not doing anything to me. I just asked you a simple question, and you just decided to I gave you a simple answer. About it, so. I noticed that your vest doesn't have a name on it. Doesn't have to. Well, what is your reason. name and number? I am Delta 150. I'm Lieutenant Zerk. There's, I'll, I'll tell you that all the time. I'm okay with that. Well, I've done nothing wrong so. to you. You're I'm just standing required here. To. And you? Me? 495, Derek Wolfgang. We're all good here. Doesn't seem like it to me. I think I, I'm doing okay. I don't, I don't know if you're I'm doing, doing okay, but... Well. So is the uh, Stardatin Fuhrer over there just uh, looking for some kind of elusive DHS fucking regulation to haul us all in? Or what's going on, Chief? I'm unsure there, sir. Oh, I'm sure you'll come up with something. He can come up with whatever he wants. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Are you trying to suggest that you're not a participating party in this illegal stop? I'm just here to, with him. I'm, I'm not doing anything to you, am I? Well, I would say that your force represents a, you know, additional threat to my comrade here. Who has, again, not violated the law in any capacity. I'm... Sure, Seppi doesn't speak for me, I don't speak for him. I'm not saying he violated the law at all. But you're standing behind him with a gun on your belt. I have a gun for my protection and for everybody's protection of the state of San Andreas. I'm just here because you want other people here. That's all, all the reason that I'm here. Well, if you're here to protect the people of San Andreas, then I encourage you to uh, protect my friend here from being detained illegally. I don't know if your friend's going to be detained. I, I couldn't tell you what's going to happen. Well, that was certainly the implication and direct statement from your, what, supervisor, cadre? He's, uh, he, all he is, he works for the sheriff's department. I work for the San Andreas State Police. Uh, should we just get in the car and try and leave? Hey, we can know. do that. Yep. I mean, they can't legally stop us, can they? We have no reason. Well, we have no reason to be. We have no reason to stay. He's. Yeah. I don't wanna. I mean, you've obviously trashed this event. Thank you for blocking us off from the street level and preventing the people that need this food from getting it. Really great PR. I understand why guys like you so much. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to put my hands down to help you carry stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll we'll leave it. Uh -huh. You just oh, want to leave it? Oh, damn. I have to pick up my beans. Okay, if you just want to leave it, that's fine. Well, maybe, maybe we don't yet. Well. Most people would consider it bad faith to, uh, you know, hold people hostage while you frantically search for a law that you can magically enforce, but, uh, that's just me. I'm not holding you hostage at all. Oh, so we can leave. That's up to him, that's not up to me. Well, then I would uh, encourage you to ask him if we can leave, because I assume you will try and stop us if we do. I'll do that for you. Or they'll probably sit there and follow you. Oh, we're not leaving. I just want to ensure that we are, you know, permitted to leave if we so choose. Uh, Sergeant Costas? <laughs> yeah. You, you gentlemen and woman are good to go. Well, if you two want to clear out of here, obviously yes. we don't want to abandon our possession. I don't want you to get caught up in this, because, uh, I mean, just look at them. Oh, I'm just enjoying the heat from a long walk home, so... Thanking you guys for the help, though, or for the, the hot sure. coffee. But you guys Absolutely. have a good day. You too, you take care. Will you do me a favor, man? Yeah, what's up? No, 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 I'm talking to him. Oh, sorry, sorry, bud. What's up, Chief? Will you reach down and drop the magazine out of my rifle, please? I so I can put my hands down?
what, what, what is the drink? Just coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I think, think I'll get some uh, lunch and coffee and... Sorry. <coughs> yeah, go ahead and clear. Tiffy, Candy, Tiffy, clear. Uh, Thank you. Over. Absolutely, you stay warm today, ma'am. Thanks. Just avoid uh, certain kinds of heat if you get my meeting. Yeah. Sayonara, fascist! You wanna take any more of these food or drinks before you leave, ma'am? I, I think I'm good, thank you. Okay. We'll sorry. we're real sorry about that. That's- that's okay. I- I'm not a fan of cops. Now well, that makes three of us. Well, Let's go ahead and get thank this you. backed up you guys and head out of here. Stay safe. And we'll Take care. Well. Stay warm, okay? Okay. Read that material that's in the bag. It'll do you some good. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Oui. Sure? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Just checking because oh, we don't normally that, um, see I'll people walking I'll just teleport to you when you're there. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, I'm okay. Here it is. Okay. Um, don't want a bottle of water or anything? Go ahead, TP. Uh, no, I, I, got, I got a drink. Thanks, so. though. Okay. Uh, you got food? Uh, yeah. Okay. He was, a nice or whether he your total will be eleven ninety six. Go do the busing. Good idea. Finish the busing, then go have your smoke. Okay. I'm not on reason. How's it going for you? So heavy. Excuse me, ma'am. Are are you all done here? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll get this out of your way. Okay.
Okay, the lobby's clean. I'm gonna go smoke now. I need a man. Where's that woman over in the corner over there? I don't know, but she said she was done with her food, so I threw it away. And do you remember making that food? No. Go over there and see what her name is. Okay. My manager wants me to ask you what your name is. Um, d does that matter? I don't know. Um, I'd rather not say my name. Okay. <laughs> she said she doesn't want to tell you her name. I think she thinks she thinks she's cute. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, can I go smoke now? No. <laughs> I remember making her. She's been but I, I can't time. keep an eye on her and go smoke. Correct. But I, I want to go. You said I could go smoke after I bust the lobby. You said you weren't unreasonable. Just sitting there. Yeah, she's just sitting there, taking up occupational space, paying customers. But we have other space. What if somebody wants that specific space and they say, "Oh, I'm not going to eat this establishment because that person has been there for too long." I don't think most of the people who come in here notice things like that. Well, that's your problem. You don't think. That's why I'm the manager. Oh, okay. Can I go smoke now? No. Okay. I thought we wanted to leave. We've been here too long. Okay. The manager says if you're not buying things, you have to leave. Uh, can I just stay in here for a little? I'm just trying to warm up. Okay. She wants to know the if she can just stay no. for... Okay. He said no. I'm just trying to warm up. Okay. <laughs> Wait there. Okay. He told me to wait here. I just want to go have a cigarette. <laughs> He's kind of an asshole. Mm. I'm sorry. Ma'am, I've had my employee ask you to leave. I'm gonna need you to vacate the premise. I'm just trying to warm up. I didn't ask what you were trying to do, ma'am. I gave you an instruction. I need you to leave the premise. I don't have anywhere to go right now. I just want to warm up. I understand that. However, that is not my concern. My concern is running a profitable business. Please vacate the premise now, or I will contact the authorities. I just want to warm up a little. And I just it's cold outside, man. I don't have anywhere to go. So you're refusing to leave. That's what you're telling me. I... I don't have anywhere to go. I'm just trying to get warm. Call the police. We're not doing okay. this today. Okay. You chose this. I'm going to give you one last chance to leave before the cops get here. I, d I don't have anywhere to go. You do have somewhere to go. Not here. 
people like yeah, you, you make hi, bad decisions, and then the rest Scotty, of us have to pay for I it. Work at the burger you know, you stink up our restaurants, in, in you take up space for paying customers, you drag your filth in my establishment, I want you out of here. There's a woman in the restaurant that's refusing to leave because uh -huh. she's cold, and my manager says she has to leave. Klein. Yeah, with a K. Yeah, she's a white female, kind of short. She's wearing like a raggedy red coat. She's got long hair. Has a backpack on. You hear that? Then you she's choose the hard option. One of the you get the hard result. She said she was cold and doesn't have anywhere to go. Um. No. Right. Yeah. She said she's cold. Okay. Are they coming? Are they on their way? He said that he's gonna get him in route. Good. Now you can have your smoke break. Okay. See? Very reasonable. <laughs> okay. Every day with you people, I swear to God. Okay, thank you. Okay. Are they coming? They said about five minutes. Good. I'm gonna go have my smoke break go now. Go have your smoke break now. Okay. I wish I had a to be coat. more firm with people. And also to bring a coat to work. Oh no. If he's not careful, he's gonna end up just like you. Broke, disgusting trespassers. I'm not not a trespasser. Well, I'm pretty sure I told you to get out, and you're not. That makes you a trespasser. Good afternoon, officer. Afternoon. I want this woman removed from our premise immediately. Her? In the, the backpack? Yes, sir. I right, mean, I'm calling. Let's get out. I, I'm just trying to warm up. You're just trying to warm up? Do you not have anywhere to go? No. You don't? Okay. Well, come outside. I have a truck for you that has the heater on. We can work something out. I can get you help, okay? We just, these gentlemen want you out of the store for now. Uh, okay. Not for now, I want her trespassed. You want to tre- okay. Don't worry about what they say, I, I can help you with whatever you need, ma'am. Just come on. Okay. They'll be bringing your filth back in here. <laughs> I got, I got some extra blankets for you to help you to warm up. The truck is warmed up and everything. Okay, thanks. Can you hop in the front there? Actually, do you have anything on you, ma'am? Uh, I think I got knife on me, but that's about Where's it. the knife? It's just in my right pocket. Your right pocket? Okay, can you just turn around and face the truck for me then? Yeah, yeah. Is there anything in your backpack? Uh, yeah, I just got some clothes and that's it. Okay, if you mind, I'm, I'm just going to take the backpack from you for now. Okay, we'll put it in the back of my truck. Okay, that's... Hey guys, is there anything well, essential, essential to you? I was interrupting the seat, so there's oh, you're good. I okay, didn't mind leave, okay. No problem. Like, you can't live without it on your person or anything? Well, I'll, I'll, I will move yeah, I my clothes and stuff back. Yeah, I thought I was interrupting one of your scenes, so I went out there. Well, yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not taking your clothes from you. I'm just putting in the back of the truck for now for my safety. Oh, yeah, that's that's fine. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna place all these things in the back of a truck. You're, you're not losing them. I'm just placing them back into the back just for my safety, okay? Okay. If you want to, you can step back into the passenger seat, and I'll be with you real quick. Alright. Oh, is it locked? Oops. <laughs>
don't worry about it. It's okay. Hey. Yeah. Tell her I'm sorry. He's such a dick. Oh yeah, no. I was I was probably gonna give him a piece of my mind too. Okay. He's the manager or just a worker? He's a manager. Oh, he's a fucking manager. Got good riddance, Jesus. I feel sorry for you. Oh, he's walking up. You just had your smoke break. I didn't get to finish it because the cops came. I'd like to finish my cigarette. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay ma'am, here's, here's a few blankets to warm up, okay? Oh, thank you. The, uh, the, the heater should be cranked to the max, but if it gets too hot, uh, the controls are going to be those center red knobs, okay? Okay, oh, thanks. Control on them. Your name is Skylar, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry to tell you, but because if I don't do this, I could get in trouble with my own job. Uh, because they issued a- they wanted a trespass from here. You can't sadly come back here. But I do know places you can go, and I'm gonna bring you to one, okay? Okay. Okay, so you- you acknowledge that you're being trespassed, correct? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to come back here anyway. Yeah, the manager's a fucking prick. Uh, yeah. I hope he gets a f uh, I hope he gets fired. Um. Okay, I just have to write up this few things on my laptop here, and then I can start driving you there. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to. Copy that. I'm trying to get up and I can't get up. Nope. Hit Y. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Mm hmm. You saw nothing. 